have Jeff Berwick, Editor-in-Chief at the Dollar Vigilante. Jeff is an entrepreneur and almost all that he has founded has become a success, despite many deeming it otherwise. Today he is known for his being a libertarian and an arico capitalist activist and an investor in Bitcoin, appearing publicly on mainstream press outlets discussing the digital currency. In 2009, he founded the Dollar Vigilante, an anarcho-capitalist blog, focusing on gold, silver, mining stocks, Bitcoin, and offshore banking. Ladies and gentlemen, to your warm applause, Jeff Berwick. Hello. How you guys doing? It's such an honor to be here. Thank you, Vichelika, for everything you've done. Uh, this is so amazing to watch this grow. I've seen it since the beginning, uh, Liberland. Um, many people ask me wherever I go, I travel a lot, and people say, where are, you, where are you from? What country are you from? And I always go, I'm a human being. We're all human beings. I don't, I don't identify with what mafia extorts me or owns me. Um, but I do say now, almost always, wherever I go, if you look at wherever I'm speaking, they'll say what country I'm from. I always say Lieberland. This is my motherland. This is my motherland. I felt so good even just coming here. It's like I'm going home. This is a place that, it's not even just a place, it's an idea, obviously, but it's it's everything that I believe in is what is being built here right now. And to see it being built is so amazing. Of course, if you look back and if you listen to history or his story, they will say, well, the USA, the United States, which has turned into the United State, which is the USSA, which is a fascio communist police state, is the bastion of freedom in the world. Obviously it's not, and as we're watching right now, as we speak, there's bombs being dropped on Damascus by this empire that started as supposedly the smallest government, the most under control government, the minimalist government. Look what it's become today. This is what happens with governments. Governments are an unnecessary evil but we do live in a world today where we do still have these things, unfortunately. So what can we do now? Well, in my opinion, even this event today might be remembered hundreds of years from now. It is totally possible. The very same way that a lot of people talk about when Thomas Jefferson and all these other people met in the 1700s, in that same way, they might be talking about this today, in the future. They might. It's not for sure. Nothing's for sure. But I, I'm really seeing... I, I'm so impressed, actually. So impressed by what I've seen, how quickly it's grown, how many amazing people are gravitating towards it. And, of course, what is... I don't understand why people don't want freedom. I don't get it, uh, but there's a lot of people in this world who don't want it. They want to be slaves for some reason. But there's a lot of people who don't want to be slaves, and a lot of them are gravitating to places like this right now. And even just being around this fairly small but very interesting group of people, you can see some of the smartest people some of the most interesting people are gravitating to this. And there's a reason, because this is a beautiful idea, a, a, an idea of, of almost complete freedom, an idea that they said the USA was, or USSA was all about, but it obviously was not. This perhaps is the second chance. A lot of people said, oh wait, they tried it, look what happened now, it's the biggest government in the world now. It's the biggest empire. It's killing people by the second. You literally can just watch them killing people. A lot of people say, well, they just didn't do it right. Well, apparently not. Apparently they didn't do it right. Well, let's see if we can do it right this time. And I think 
we have a massive, massive opportunity here. And the time is just right for this. And I don't know if there's anyone here from Serbia government or Croatian government or whatever, and everyone knows my views on government. But Lieberland could change this entire region. This could make this entire region the wealthiest place in the world within a couple years if things go well. We know this from freedom. Where are some of the places that have most of the wealth today? Hong Kong, Singapore, Dubai. Malta. Where, Malta? Malta? Where? Monaco. Monaco. Um, uh, even Panama a little bit now. Uh, and what, what, what are those reasons? Because they allowed some freedom. When you have freedom, you have prosperity. This is just not even a debatable fact. <laughs> if you look at the list of countries that uh, have no freedom, very little, uh, it'd be like Cuba, Venezuela, North Korea, United States, uh, and a few others. <laughs> and look at how those are all going. Just disasters, right? And then you look, well, some of the places, oh, then no taxes or very little taxes. Hong Kong, Singapore, Dubai growing, skyscrapers just growing from nothing. Singapore 50 years ago was nothing, it was a fishing village. Hong Kong 150 years ago was nothing. Dubai was just the desert. Now look at it. And none of those places have even come close to what Lieberland wants to do. So imagine, imagine if Lieberland comes to complete fruition. This will change the entire world. We might remember these times. There might be photos and documentaries about where this started. And again, thank you so much to Vit because I always say this. We can all change the world. We actually all create our own reality. I don't know if you know this. That's how it all works. <laughs> but we all create our own reality. But you have to actually do something. That's why we're called human beings. We have to be, we have to do. <laughs> uh, most people, unfortunately, they go to their government indoctrination camps for 12 years and they get beaten down and fluoride in the water and vaccines and they just, they're done. They're, they're zombies, they're over. But uh, some people do things and when they do, great things can happen. And I think Lieberland has that potential. So if there is anyone here, I don't know if there is, I haven't talked to too many people. If there is a Croatian or Serbian government sort of people. This is, if you care, I don't know if you care or not because you're a government person, but if you do care about the people in your area and you want them to have the best life possible, Lieberland is the best opportunity for this entire region right now. It will bring in, if it comes to fruition, billions of dollars into this region. The Serbian and Croatian government, if they care about the people, it's very <laughs> sketchy if they do or not, if they do, I would create sort of free trade zones all around Lieberland. This whole area could become the bastion of freedom and prosperity for the entire world so easily and so quickly. And it will happen, I believe. It's just going to take more work. And a lot of people here, I've seen a lot of people working very hard. It's also going to be a lot of attacks. As this grows, have no doubt, there are entities in this world that do not want to see the end of human slavery. They do not want to see prosperity for humanity. And they will do whatever it takes to stop it. So I hope all of you today who are here, remember this when times get tough and they will get tough, they will come after this. If this continues on and succeeds, there will be false flag attacks, there will be everything you can imagine. They will attack it every way. But if we're strong and smart, they can't actually stop us, and they know that actually. So those are the stakes. So for me personally, having known about this since almost the beginning, and seeing how it's been growing, 
I'm so excited, and I really want to do whatever I can to make this happen. There is, of course, other places that are doing similar things. Smart cities, people like Roger Veer think about buying an island, doing their own thing. Great, I support them all. Some of these are going to succeed and some of them aren't. But Liberland right now is by far ahead of the pack. And I just want to say, if there's anything I can do in any way to help Liberland, I will do it. This is completely a passion of mine to see this come to fruition. And I don't think I have much time. I think the timer's out. So I don't know if I can take questions or anything, but if not, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>